morning, students. Once again, we welcome to our lecture on methods of teaching DSS mathematics. DBS 356J. We've done a lot, and today we're going to learn about the concept of the circumference of a circle. Now, it is my expectation that when we are done with this lesson, you will be able to understand why we got the formula for the circumference of a circle to be 2 pi r, and then why is it that the constant pi is equal to 3.142, and so forth. So here, you should be able to demonstrate how come the circumference of a circle is equal to 2 pi r, and then be able to determine why pi is a constant value equal to 3.142. Now, before you teach this particular lesson, you might have taught your students that they are familiar with some of the circular objects in their environment. So you can talk about circular objects like little tin, milk tin, little things, and all the circular objects that they can find in their environment. Well, these are the materials that we are going to use to determine it. So now I have with me here, I have with me here circular objects. You can see there are so many cylindrical shapes or circular objects on the board, on the table. I have a milk tin here. I have a tin tomato tin here. I have a little tin. I have another mebro tin. I have a cowbell often also with me here. I also have this sheet, which is also a circular sheet. Now, what we are going to do is that to get a circumference, what is it about circumference? Circumference is the distance around a circular object. If the plane figure, we are going to talk about the perimeter of it. But once it's a circular object, we consider the circumference and we say it's the distance around that circular object. And so we are going to look at how we can assist our pupils to determine the circumference of a circular object. So I have with me here a twine. It can be a thread we are going to use. I have a twine here. And I also have my ruler here. That's going to assist me to do my measurements. And so if I want to take the circumference of the middle thing, what you are going to do is that you are going to use the thread to move round or the trying to move round the middle thing in such a way. Look at what I'm doing in such a way that it will fit exactly. So when you are done with it, this is what I got. So when you are done with it, you just take off this and then you take the measurement. You take it from the ruler there. So you measure from the ruler in this way. And then you record it. You are going to do the same to the tin tomato tin. The same thing you do the tin tomato tin. Also, look at what I've done here. Like this. Once again, you take it to the ruler and measure. You are going to do the same thing to the cowbell coffin. The cowbell empty tin here. In the same vein. You also take it to ruler and then you measure. So you are going to do to all the circular objects that are available to you. Then when we are done with it, we are now going to record them on a table. You make sure they are all recorded on a table. Okay. So let's look at how we are going to do that. So I'm going to draw the table. I will take the measurement and then put them one by one for you to look at how it is going to be done. Okay. So for my table, I will need a column for circular objects. 
are we what we call the circumference of the object? I also need what we call the diameter. And then I'll need the ratio, the diameter to that of the, the, the circumference to that of the diameter. So let me make this one C and make this one D. And so the C here is for my circumference and the D here is for the diameter. Okay, so this is the table that we are going to get. And so I'm now going to do the measurement once again. When I do the measurement, I will record for the circumference. So like I said, area on, you are going to take the measurement. You will take the measurement for the first one, which is the middle term. So I will take it like that. Measure from the ruler. And when I do that, I am getting 21.4. So the I first item is the middle term. And I got 21.4 centimeters. And then the next one. So I'm now going to do for that of the melting. You can see this melting. So I'll do that. And then this is what I get. I'll measure from the ruler like this. To see what is there. And when I did this one, I got 21.4 centimeters for the melting. Let me also do for the middle term. So the same procedure, you take the thread, you move around it, making sure you have it this way. You take it off, then also measure from the ruler. You also measure from the ruler like this. Let's see what we are getting. That one too is giving me 81.4 centimeters to me. It's giving me 81.4 centimeters. Okay. Then let's look at this object. I'm taking a look at this object. And so when I measure this object too. It is giving me, say, 10 points. Uh, what did I get? Measuring it again. I got 10.7 centimeters. Let me call this object uh, Goldland Orange or Goldland Orange. Good one. Okay. And then this object is a cowbell puffing object. So I'm going to measure that one too. You measure. And that one is giving me 32.3. This one is cow there. And that one is giving me 32.3. So these are the objects here with their corresponding circumference written on the book. Now the next activity is that we should also get one for the diameter. Of those objects, of, of these 
this meeting. You praise them like this. And then you put that object in it like this. You are all watching. And so you will notice that the diameter is from this point up to this point. Okay? If I the diameter of this, if this one is a circular object, the diameter you know is a distance from one point of the circumference to the other passing through the center. So if I want to do that, I want to find the distance between this and that. That's the distance coming. So I'll put it here like this. And then place them in this form. And so when I'm done with that, I'll take this one off. And then measure this distance. And so I'll take the ruler to measure that distance. Okay? So we measure that distance. And that one is giving me 6.9 centimeters. So 6.9 centimeters. I'm going to do the same to the middle thing. Once again, you place it in between these two blocks here. And we try to find the diameter. So that is from here up to that point. Then after that, you choose your ruler to measure that distance. Okay, and this one is giving me 10.0 centimeters. Then I'm going to do for the gold land object 10. So for the gold land, you also place it like this. And then you also repeat it. You can see that. It, then you measure. You take the measurement of that. And that one also gives you 3.4 centimeters. And then the last one is the little thing. Uh, the cow bear coffin. The cow bear coffin. So I'll do for that one too. Let's look at the cow bear coffin. That's for you to I'll record it like this. Then you take the measurements. And that one too is giving me 10.4. So now we are done with this. So we are now going to look at the kind of ranges between this one and that. And so whatever volume you get here for the circumference, we're going to divide it by its corresponding diameter. And so we take your calculator and do that. And when we do this one, we are getting 3.147 centimeters. Okay, the centimeter will not be there, but they will cancel themselves. Remember that. And then we do for it 1.4 divided by 10.0. And that one is giving me 3.140. Then we do for the gold land. The gold land is also giving me 10.7 divided by 3.4. And that one is going to give me 3.147. 3.147. And then the last item there, the cow bell, which is also giving me 32.3 divided by uh, 10.4 and the answer is going to give me 3.146 What are we noticing here? You are noticing that these values are, they are values which are around 3.14 this is 3.147, 3.140, 3.147, 3.146. If you were to find the average, you could add all these ones and divide by 1, 2, 3, 4. It's going to give you a value which is around 3.14. It's going to give you a value which is around 3.14. Okay? So that constant value which you are going to get after those divisions, 
That's why we are going to consent to be a pie. That's why we are going to consent to be a pie. So you notice that we had the C divided by the D, and we said that it was going to give you a value which is 3.142. Because I, I, I told you that when we add everything here, we could find the average. And we add everything here and divide by the number of objects that you need. It was going to give you a value which was around 3.142. And this value is a constant value. Why is it constant? You, know, you notice that the measurement that we, we did, when we divided the circumference by the diameter, we were giving a value around 3.142. We are saying that this value is a constant value, which is high. Okay, so now you are seeing that we are having a relationship like C over D. That is a circumference divided by the D is giving you pi. And if I want to get the circumference, it's a matter of doing finding or making the C the circuit. And so we do cross multiplication, and that gives us that C is equal to pi D. And we know the D is for the diameter. And What's the relation between the diameter and that of the radius? Two radii is going to give you one diameter. So this is equal to two pi times one. Because we know that the d is equal to two of four of the radius. That's the two radii. So if we do the substitution, then it means that the circumference is going to give us two pi r. And that's how come we are saying that the circumference of a circle is equal to two pi. I think you have followed the lesson, and we expect you to go and teach our kids 